Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom MMC or Microsoft Management Console by using Computer Management Snap-in. Then I will use the Computer Management Snap-in to manage a remote computer. I'm going to manage a Windows 10 machine from a Windows Server machine. On the Windows Server machine, uh, Lawn DC1, I will start MMC from the start menu and from the file menu I will go to add remove snap-in and then select computer management from the left side click on add and then use local computer and finish then I will press on ok a new computer management console has been added. I'm going to right click on the computer management local and then select connect to another computer. Here I will use the other computer which is a Windows 10 machine. Let me check the name of this computer. It is LON CL2. So I will add that name. Also, I can browse and type the computer name of the other computer and check names. And if you get an underline on the computer name, that means it is recognized or the communication could be established. So press out OK and then OK again. Now this computer management MMC will be able to manage the other computer its name is lon cl2 now go to the other computer and then make sure the firewall is off so I'll go to defender firewall and then make sure this is off this is off i can keep the public network on so I'm going to close this firewall settings. Next, I will open services. And then look for printer spooler. The printer spooler service is running. Now I will manage this printer spooler from the other computer or the server. So I will expand computer management. And then services and applications and then select services as you can see the services of the other machine is available now i will find print spooler uh, which is running i can stop it from here that means i'm managing the windows 10 machine from windows server let me check if it did stop by going to the other machine and if I refresh this screen I can see that the service has stopped it's not running I can start the service locally now if I go back to the LON DC1 and check the service status I can see that the service is let me refresh and it is running again I can stop it from here or stop it remotely by pressing on the stop service button and then I can go to the other computer and refresh the screen and see that the service has stopped which is not run okay so this is one example of remote management and close the services there are many other management tasks you can perform remotely i hope you found this video was helpful 
If you would like to receive notifications on future videos, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and set up notifications by tapping on the bell. Thank you for watching.